What's up guys, we're here at Blade Show 2023 and we are at the We Knife Co. booth and we're gonna check out the prototypes from We Civivi and Send Cut for 2023 that's coming soon. All right, we're here with Kyle. Hey, what's up, man? And we're gonna check out some of the prototypes starting with We Knife Co. You guys have a go. lot of stuff. Look man. at all these. Isn't Tons. This nuts? Yeah, it's crazy. It is crazy. <laughs> so let's just start right off the bat with something probably one of the most unique knives right here, right? Can't remember the name. Obviously, all these are new prototypes. Yeah, so I'm right. still trying to remember all the names. Of course. This one looks like, let's see, look at that tag. It's hard to remember the knives that are already out. So, so um, the Omic, I'm Omic. guessing. There we go. Super unique locking mechanism right there. Yes, yes. So it is. Awesome, solid flipping action on there, and then it closes with that action obviously you can do some b-roll on that but and i know people are going to compare it to the fox knives but it's completely different very different yeah yeah very it different. looks the same but it, but it's not the way you actuate it's completely different and on the the fox knives you actually use that to open it this actually has a detent so really really cool yeah, you beautiful push it up, nice super big blade and yep. nice i mean super smooth good, good knife for it you know if you like those bigger knives for yeah sure. definitely yeah no you can feel this is a worker you know, and the, the handle almost feels like you're holding on to a fixed blade. I know last night you- Are you filming? Are you filming? Okay, go ahead. Spent your time, and we were on our live last night. Yeah, yes, yes. And you were digging Th this This one. is my favorite <laughs> one, yeah. It, it's so incredibly snappy, and what I was talking about in last night's live is how high the flipper tab is. Like, when I don't even deploy it and I just push on it, look at how far it goes. So, after you break the detent, the thing rockets out. Great reverse flick. The ergos, it's super slim. The geometry is great. Nasty um, clip point blade. Yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah, so very, very well done. 20 CV blade still on there. It's going to be the ne Nefaris. Nefaris, yeah. We'll go Nefaris. with that for right now. Yeah, no, dude. I mean, really all cool. these names can change. That's like the funnest thing about prototypes. Anything can change on these knives right now. So. Yeah, and there's a ton of different color options and stuff. So the next one is. Yet to be named. Yet to be named. Okay. But this is a design with, on the back of the tag, yep, yep. Uh, Raphael Ber Berziski, okay. I believe is yep. how you pronounce it. Yep. Anyway, so super clean tonsil blade, hollow grind on the on that long stretch, and then a flat grind on that small yeah, tonsil yeah. tip. Full tie, stainless steel insert, ceramic cage wall bearings. Yep, yep. What, what more can you want? It's very clean. <laughs> the dual grind really pops out, pops out because of the two satin finishes. Then, Next one, the in-house ne design. This okay. is going to be the Cyber... C Cybermedic? Cybermedic. There Something like that. This is a front flipper. And look titanium. At, look at those lines. Though. Yeah. So no, even for though, sure. So we have, you can't see it too good in this black in the black version, but you can kind of see right here. Oh, yeah, We've yeah, followed yeah. like all these different grind lines yeah, into the yeah, handle yeah, itself. Yeah. Right? Pivot collar is a, is not like the normal wee pivot collar that you see. Uh -huh. It's unbranded. Our brand is now on the on the pocket clip on some of these. So the backspacer is really cool too. How like it has like an opening in between it. Almost yeah. like it was gonna be a full, but then it broke off. Yeah, exactly. That looks really cool. Yeah, and the action on this is completely guillotine. Like there's no resistance at all. Yeah, it's so clean. Yeah, it's that's so really cool. <laughs> We love it. Very cool lines. And then the next one, you, I can see, well, actually the next one's gonna be a Toxic Baruca, but this one. Gustavo Ficini. Gustavo Ficini. And this is gonna be the solid. Full titanium integral with Oh, Gustavo's, it is an integral, yeah. Uh, SLT. Yeah. Clipper system. Yeah. And obviously you have a lot of his different grind lines on there. I mean, it's very Gustavo. Yeah. So, if you guys so remember, he did a design with um, Zero Tolerance. Correct. So it's got the same type of flipping action as that one, where it's almost like spring-loaded, and once you yank it down, you break the detent, it, it well, rockets get, out. Get that. So SLT stands for spring-loaded spring tab. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Um, the next one is by Tashi Baruka. You can see that. Tashi. Super stoked for this one. I yeah. haven't seen some stuff from Tashi in a little bit, so I'm super stoked to be working with him. Super clean, flat grind on that blade. Yeah. And then, yeah, just the ergonomics and all the design aspects of a, a Tashi knife. Yeah, and the backspacer is like pieced in where it's almost like an integral and, and different from what we've seen from the Exiton and uh, the Xiphius. Yeah. It's a little bit different, but it still has like kind of the same aspect where it's um, it's almost like an integral. Very, very smooth. Yeah. Nice and snappy nice action. Nice compact size, I feel like. It is, it, yeah, it yeah, yeah. It works really well. But it, this handle like wraps perfectly like the way your oh, hand will, will so form fun. around it. Yeah. 
No, this is cool. It's almost like like, um, like holding a firearm almost. It leans yeah. forward. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and then the next one, this thing's wicked. Boom, look at that snappy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's a Karambit Warncliffe. What's the name of this one? The Yardbird? Yardbird. Yardbird, yeah, very cool. Designer, Torbay. Torbay. So if you're familiar with some of the other old stuff we've just barely been releasing, you know that massive fixed blade? Huge Civivi on the Civivi line. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's Torbay's design. Oh, okay, as well. okay. So, same designer. Sweet super little karambit, yeah. and obviously super snappy little. Fantastic action. action, yeah. Surprisingly snappy. And then you got the fuller, too, so you can also reverse flick it. You got the karambit hole, and if you look, the, the pocket clip is on the back space, or yep. is on the back. Yeah, it's on that signet ring. It kind of goes into it. So yep. it's definitely going to be something unique, a little bit different than your normal karambit style type of knife. Yeah, that's really cool. And then there's, a, like I said before, there's color, all different color options for all of these. Correct. Hopefully you guys are seeing that while I'm sitting here showing it. Okay. Next is the Wrecker. The Wrecker. This one's designed by Kyle Lamb. So if you guys are oh, familiar okay. with Kyle yeah. Lamb, I know he has a military background. I'm not super positive on what his background is. Uh -huh. but However, super clean design by Kyle. Yeah. Nice, Very clean. Kind of modified sheep's foot, if you will. Mm -hmm. Titanium handle with some really cool, like, finger, like, toils. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So it just fits. And I love this checker pattern. Yeah. The, the, the diamond, it. whatever you want to call it. Diamond, snake skin. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it, it, people it pops. will tell us, right? Yeah, <laughs> it pops. Exactly, exactly. We will definitely get reminded. But no, yeah, this is very snappy. Very, it's, it's super light, too. That's one thing I know is right when I picked it up, you, you're not expecting it to be so light. So if you look inside, and it's going to be hard for everyone to see, you actually mill oh, wow. the yeah. titanium handle out. Yeah. So that's going to cut down a lot of weight. And you got the milling on the face of it. So, so definitely there's a lot of aspects going into this knife to where it's like, oh, wow, okay, yep, I see what you did there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see so, the work. And that's the thing. That's why I got to give you guys credit because there's so much coming from you guys, but it's like there's a lot different. Like, of course, there's some similar knives, you know, from the Civivi to to we line up but you guys are always coming out with like new innovative stuff and it's like you guys are always like going ahead of what you did last you know yeah, we I have love to that. I we love have that. to right and that's difficult <laughs> to do I know that so the next one is got a wicked looking blade the igneo igneo yeah igneo? we'll go with that all right you name that blade shape <laughs> when we first saw the handle I was like oh cool this might be like a nice this sheep's foot blade then that blade shape pops out. And yeah, this one's designed Tony by- Tony Tetzel? Yep, TNT Knives. So TNT Knives. Super, I think this was so slim. Yeah, it is, it is. Very slim knife. Great have, reverse flick on that uh, hole on the um, aperture. Your backspacer right here is oh, non-existent. Clamshell. So yep, exactly. Two piece, two piece construction. Two piece construction yeah. on there, super fun design aspect. The contouring on these handles just yeah. works. Yeah, No, it's just small and compact, but then, you don't expect it when you're looking at it closed to, for that blade to come out. Yes. But then when it does, you're, whoa. Can't get you off guard, but But it actually workable. looks useful. It well, looks like you, it, you'll be able to get right there because it works yeah. kind of like that Warncliffe blade. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah, you still have that nice edge. Yeah, so. very, very cool. And then next, I remember this one from last night. This In -house one. In-house design. Oh, yeah. It's Look got a house. nasty little clip point. Ooh. Yeah, it's like, I want to say like a Warncliffe almost. Yeah. It's like so nasty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a little demon. <laughs> uh, very but, cool. And this is Mocha, or, uh, Timascus? Yes, if uh, I believe. Mocha Thai, one of the two? It's going to be the Timascus. Timascus, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the G10 inlay. So on one of the other ones we have. Minokawa is the name. Minokawa. Kawa. This one right here has like a layer G10. Oh, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like a, an integ uh, integral G10 backspacer, yeah, yeah. if you will. But both of them got the Timascus. Yep, just different with the backspacers. Thai inlays and then the titanium frame. And this so is going, and really with the Timascus, it's 374. That's not too bad. Crazy, right? That's really good, yeah. And the, the blade is a hand set and finish. Crazy good geometry. Yep, and then we got a black nice one. Nice and compact. Yeah, that's so, so snappy. And I mean, there's some, some small design aspects on these ones too. I mean, look at these little tiny speed holes. Yeah. Again, you got your clam. Oh, we got that, that integral uh, G10, sorry. Yeah, okay, okay, right, right, right. Anyway. It's like an integral backspacer. Yep. Next. Oh, man, that sound. Tink. So this was one that also caught my eye a lot. Um, it's uh, It does come in different flavors as well. And it that fuller running down the blade just totally sets that thing up. Super good geometry. 
I, I absolutely love the look of this. I love, you know, the how it works too, but I'm just saying like looking at it, it catches my eye a mile away. Yeah. When I was walking up, I was just like, it was the first thing, it was like it was glowing. Seriously. <laughs> oh man, I love it. No, nice and thin, it's a big knife. Yeah. But it's also nice and thin. Fuller, compound grind. You almost yep. got like that Tonto kind of yep. type of grind on yep. there, hollow yep. to flat. But it's a drop point. And At the same time, point. yeah. It, it just works, right? Yeah, so. very cool. Yeah, I think this one and the one I said earlier are my favorites right now. The uh, the Nefaris. And then what was the name of this one? This one is going to be the Nex... Nexusia? Nexusia. Okay. So but yeah. It's our pronunciation for sure. Yeah, these two are definitely my favorites at the moment. Well, that's cool because they're both in-house designs on those ones. Dude, they're really if good. I correctly. Yeah. So, you guys are doing great okay, with your that's all the Wii stuff. That's a crazy okay. amount, right? Yeah, it's so much. <laughs> so then we just drop down to the little we have in the Civivi line. Okay, so now we're with Civivi's new lineup. And you guys remember the Wii Vision R. Well, this is the more budget-friendly option from Civivi, the, the Vision FG. And there's some differences here. One, obviously, you can see it has thumb studs, right, instead of the hole. Which yep. actually works even better because you know you just have you have so much purchase on that that uh, the thumb stud and then the back spring is actually more proud, jimped and bigger and it's easier to use. It's almost like it's almost like a trigger now. Yeah. Before exactly. you know it was like you had to kind of get the groove. This one's like a lot easier to grab. Yeah. Then you got the clip it's is like placed clip. on the side set of the back, which is really cool. So yeah, and then obviously the materials are very different. Yep, stainless steel liners, so this will be have the liners, like so it's gonna change with that. So okay. if I card on this one, there's gonna be G10 models, yep. versions and different flavors like that. So yeah, this super is awesome. stoked with this one, keeps the same mechanism working, everything like that, all of us next lock going fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Very, very cool. Next one, this is a new design from Ben Peterson called the, okay. the Cedar. The Cedar, yeah. Now last night, right? I remember we're talking about the little hidden features in here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so, so super clean spade blade. Yep. Super hidden flipper tab. Yep. Very minimal. minimal. Yep. And then inside the handle, I'm gonna close the knife so I don't cut myself. You have <laughs> tweezers and a toothpick. A toothpick, yeah. That's really cool. So you almost got like a little multi-tool on you. Yeah, yeah, you do. That's really cool. And it fit, on, fit in there really nicely too. This kind of hides, so it is. This work super well. Yeah, and this is super compact, super lightweight. Like anybody can carry this just about anywhere. That's what I'm actually carrying for the show right now. Are you? <laughs> I'm carrying nice. the Protos. <laughs> uh, looks like internal stop pins on the close and the open position, which is going to help for you know side to side strength. Yeah, that's really sleek, man. I love how the blade goes all the way in the handle too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's really cool. So and then the next, secret. look at this little guy. I thought this one was small. <laughs> what? Where is it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's so, crazy. New little neck knife. This is an O-Stop Hill design. This is called a Crow. Yeah. This is gonna be perfect. It's a little honestly. pinch knife. A little pinch blade. You honestly get this on a little chain. No one's gonna know. No, no, no. No one's gonna know you're carrying a little tiny blade. But you know, if you're just opening things up during the day, working in an office or something, this is perfect. Exactly. You know, it's just a little ledge. Very cool. What blade steel is on that? 14C too. So yeah. super tough steel. Okay, that's right. what we got from Civivi. Now we're going to Sencut's lineup, which they have two new models. One of them you already seen on the channel, which is the Serene. And I'm calling it as far as under $50, the best under $50 budget knife there is right now. And, and I, you know, I've st stood by that because before that it was the Sakshi. Before okay, that. Yep, yep. So this one totally just, you know, pat, surpassed that one. This blows it out of the park, well, right? Aluminum. Solid, button lock. solid aluminum, too. Yeah, exactly. Button lock. Yeah. Super clean blade. D2, if I remember correctly. Yep. So yes. ceramic cage ball bearings, yeah. flipper, thumb stud, like, you just keep going off. It them. feels like a wee knife because of the aluminum. It makes it feel premium, almost like titanium. Not 100%, but pretty close. But then this action, you guys have gotten down so good. And I've said this a bunch of times in videos, like I think you guys are doing the best work on button locks right Thank now. Thank you. Like, it's, 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 it's honestly crazy. really fun to see the progression of all the art designs kind yeah. of be moved into either button locks and see the progression of the button lock yeah. moving forward. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, you can go watch that full video if you want to see some more details on that. Now this one is- Jubal. Jubal? Jubal? Jubil. Jubil? <laughs> oh yeah. It kind of reminds me of the club. Yep. So this one, I want to say it was, it's a prototype, so it could be in-house design, but very, 
Very slim. Very affordable, too. Yeah. Look at that price, $37 for this. That's really, really good. I mean, this, D2 steel. This little guy right plus. here. It's like a pen. I'm yeah. Just, I'm just yeah. carrying a pen. Yeah. You wouldn't even notice. You wouldn't even know. And this front flipper works so good. So snappy. Very similar to the Clavi, just a little tiny bit more compact. But this thing's going to be a utility cutting beast. And for the work that most people do with blades, this is going to excel for sure. Exactly. D2 blade, G10 handles, the stainless steel liners. So everything you know from like the same cut knife. Yeah, this is really, really cool. All right, guys. There you guys go. That is all the new prototypes from Wii, Civivi, and Suncut. Kyle, thank go. you, bud. Hey, thanks for coming over, man.